Hello, hi, it's uh, Ariel Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session of the 27th of October 2017 on a Friday. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where do we stand? Uh, yes and yes today, Mr. Draghi certainly surprises all with this um, interpretation of QE Infinity, or that's what the, basically markets have, uh, have interpreted it as, the uh, unlimited QE for an extended period, even though it has been reduced to a large extent. Uh, in terms of Asian markets overnight, it's really the reaction that counts. You have the Nikkei up 268 points, so Nikkei certainly overtly bullish, extremely bullish. Uh, Hang Seng and the Shanghai certainly higher as well. Uh, U.S. markets yesterday, let's just quickly run through that as well. You have the, the Nasdaq was certainly higher on the back of stronger earnings. S&P certainly reversed. And as you can see overnight, we've certainly uh, moved it sharply higher as well. Okay, with the uh, Dow uh, or certainly right back above 23,400. And the S&P touching that 2570 level again. And the Nasdaq back above 6,100. So very, very impressive to say the least. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, economic news flow, let's just quickly look at that for you this morning. Uh, German import prices certainly coming in stronger, therefore supporting the euro, okay, to a large extent, so bear that in mind, even though Mr Draghi certainly has caught QE. Uh, consumer confidence in uh, France uh, certainly came in slightly weaker. Spanish retail sales came in stronger. Mr Price is speaking, just waiting for him to see what he has to say. Uh, and we're looking forward to US GDP later on today, core personal, Michigan, Baker Hughes. Uh, really, so it's more of a US dollar-centric type trade later on, okay? That's basically what we're focusing on later on. Okay, so this is that's the status quo. That's where we stand, folks. So just bear that in mind. Uh, in terms of the uh, the actual uh, Euro, uh, European markets, let's quickly look at the technical picture now. Given the fact that, like I said, Mr. Draghi has certainly um, uh, thrown his uh, gauntlet to put, obviously put out his cards for everyone to see, and that's the status quo. In terms of FTSE 100, let's start off with the technical picture, daily chart uh, or daily candle, uh, Fib um, daily candle Wednesday, 25th of October, bearish engulfing candle. Expected to remain within that. Okay, I've certainly got a short trade active, looking for a potential move lower now on the FTSE 100 at this juncture. 60-minute chart, you can see we've got diagonal trend line resistance, Fib 75% retracement. Certainly looking for weakness on the FTSE here. Okay, especially given the fact that Brexit negotiations certainly are a shambles. Uh, we've had a sterling rise as well, and expectations that we are going to get a rate hike. So, rate hikes expectations certainly keeping the FTSE 100 subdued, certainly not pushing it to new highs like the DAX, okay, so just bear that in mind, looking for a potential retracement back down to 7490 or potentially even lower, okay, so bear that in mind with regards to the FTSE. Looking at the German DAX now, very, very impressive, folks, okay, German DAX, you can see daily chart, we've, we've uh, certainly um, uh, burst to new highs, yesterday's bullish engulfing candle, as you can see, consolidating above previous resistance, and bang, okay, previous resistance equals support, and off we go, so certainly a gap there, potential gap fill, one could argue, or we just continue higher. The German DAX is extremely, extremely bullish. You can see on the weekly chart, we're certainly yes, screaming higher as well. So uh, from, my, from my perspective, certainly wouldn't like to uh, short the German DAX. So I'm just making you aware of that. Uh, and that's the scenario there. Okay, let's move on to the next chart now, folks. Let's see where we stand with the next chart. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to the French CAC. Okay, French CAC daily extremely bullish as well, broken out to new highs, taking out all these resistance zones. Very, very impressive. Okay, you just have to respect the bullish price action for now. 60 minute chart as well, certainly extremely bullish. Uh, it has been very impressive move, especially yesterday's move certainly caught me off. I was, I was actually short. I was stopped out of my shorts and Euro stocks on the French CAC. Okay, managed to make some more gains back, but that's, just, that's the situation at present. Certainly didn't expect new highs post Draghi, especially given the fact that he's going to cut back on. QE, but it's been interpreted as unlimited QE, which I'm not too sure is absolutely correct, but that's a status quo regardless. Okay, so again, you have an unfilled gap below. Let's see if this gap can get filled for now. Yeah, French CAC certainly is uh, bullish, and I certainly wouldn't be uh, fighting against it. That's my interpretation anyway. Okay, so that's the status quo there. In terms of uh, Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just run through that with you as well. Uh, daily chart, let's look into that for you. Daily chart is uh, weak, okay, so just bear that in mind. Uh, Euro stocks has not broken out to new highs, so really it's a laggard. Uh, as you can see here, we touched double top at 3667. I've got, actually got a short position on this, given the fact that it's a laggard. Uh, and again, yesterday's move, look at that symmetrical wedge. Uh, we broke lower and then boom. Okay, so impressive, very, very impressive the move itself. Uh, certainly didn't expect that, okay, certainly weren't positioned for that. Like I said, I was short and I was stopped out, so... Happy to be wrong, okay, happy to be wrong. 
uh, but I uh, trust in my analysis, stop loss of zinc, control my risk. That's the important thing, okay? Uh, again, looking for one fill gap below. Uh, you have gap fill at 3637. Let's see exactly what happens there uh, in terms of the market itself. So, uh, European market is extremely, extremely bullish. Obviously, in the back of Mr. Draghi's uh, interpretation of limited QE. And um, I think we had uh, a rumor with regards to one of the Fed hawks leaving the, uh, the, the actual um, uh, uh, FOMC, which in turn obviously sent dollar low, which obviously has fueled. Uh, to a large extent, uh, certainly has fueled the European equity, US equity rally as well to a large extent. Okay, so let's see how that is interpreted. Interpreted, But nevertheless, Mr. Draghi has sent the euro back down to 1.16 to bring up the chart of the euro USD. And really, that's the real reason why we've uh, actually rallied in equity. So for now, the daily chart of the euro at the moment, obviously, you can see h &S formation has been triggered and we are now breaking lower. So let's see how that unfolds. Okay, and let's see what the, uh, the drama is with regards to Washington and uh, uh, obviously tax reform. And also we have US GDP later on today. Let's see how that unfolds as well. Okay, I think that's the uh, status quo. That's a good update uh, with regards to European equities. Please be sure to visit cfds.com. Certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.